Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where the recording I saved it for the last one so I was able to save it and now I can finally finally do what I'm pretty sure is a whole bunch of cool Atlantis stuff. I know as if the thing is is that I know there's like a DLC that I have which I oh no this is like this is like some other stuff, which I do I do want to do. I've heard it's actually really, really cool. Like a lot of this stuff is really fun. Really interesting. Um, but I can finally do the Atlantis stuff. I don't know if this was part of the main game. I can't remember if it was part of the main game or if this was like DLC stuff, but either way, I'm incredibly stoked. Finally, go to Atlantis. Ah! I can't wait. This is like one of the reasons I bought this game was because I want. I was like, they better take us to Atlantis. I bought it for Cassandra, and I bought it for the Medusa, and I bought it for Atlantis. This is why I have this game. If I run out of disk space, I will cry. Oh uh, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Also, Dad, you need to explain. Explain some things. I wonder if I'll get different dialogue with my family now, too. Genetic father, you need to explain some things. I can see why, see why people maybe, at least I, I have a tiny glimpse, I think, into why people were kind of conflicted on which DLC to do first. This one, the Atlantis one, or the cult one. It was easier to do the Atlantis one, jeez. Also, what do you mean, take this staff? Is that a piece of Eden? This place holds the answers to humankind's salvation. Are you wearing, like, sure of it. a solid gold belt? You have more questions. Yo, uh, I guess not. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered. Atlantis! Let me go play Atlantis! Hurry, this artifact will help us close off the temple. But I want... You're nearly as stubborn as its former owner. I want to go look at it! I hope this actually unlocks Atlantis. I feel like it is. Oh, that was the Minotaur. Nice. I feel like it is, actually. Acquiring contemporaneity. Acquiring a voice, that's what. I'm taking over your recordings. The humans have had enough of your pompous speeches. Alethea? Call me Alethea. I am truth in its revelation, and I am calling you out. You, Isu, who try to rewrite the laws of the universe. You who manipulate human progress. What do you hope to achieve? You treat humans as useful apes. How many artifacts have you created to control their minds? Do you fear their potential that much? Oh? Just look at what humans have achieved on their own. Democracy and diplomacy. A legacy of culture and art. We could share in this if you just treat them as equals. Uh... In your desperate search for immortality, you've ignored the obvious. You run endless simulations to find one in which nothing changes. It's pointless. Change will come. And not just the so-called end of the world you fear. You call yourself saviors, but tell me. Would this doomsday have appeared had you not pulled on the threads of the universe in the first place? There's always been a doomsday theme. I am taking over your retransmissions. You don't speak for all of us anymore. I am as Isu as you, but I will no longer be part of your exploitation. Nice. Okay. Those who came before, they speak to us and show us revelations. Though these words of disapproval are troubling. The gods have argued before. Athena and Poseidon competed for Athens. I wonder if Alithia won control of this place. I, I can never tell if, like, the transmissions are, like, 
somehow modified. You know what I mean? Like they're they're so like are they in the past? Are they from the future? Like I don't know. There's a lot going on. A lot of really vague ex exposition. The Sphinx. Ah, good work. Was it hard to obtain the artifact? <laughs> its owner had many questions for me. You should have come along. Oh. -ho. Ancient adventurer, I made this recording to try to help you. I'm sorry if it's confusing. We each you see various pasts and futures. I knew it! And I know you'll be here more than once. It's like future and past at the same time. My fellow precursors set endless challenges in your path. Artifacts, creatures. Don't get me started on the Olympus project. Their meddling got out of hand. They became gods. They made I have themselves no easy gods. For you. Your future depends on a multitude of choices you have to make for yourself. I'm sorry if so many of them end in pain. Your playwright's tragedies are your real oracle. Okay. But please don't give up. Oh, okay. You are more important than you can imagine. Oh, that makes me feel and good. Like your own Pandora. I have one thing left to offer you. Hope. Despair is not our only legacy. You're like me, a rebel against your destiny. You're not just a mercenary. You're a hero what? for the ages. Whoa! She's talking to me, Cassandra. Hold fast to what you know is true, and you will overcome. It's actually making my heart hurt a little bit. Claim like, your how Cassandra must feel. All that is terrible and beautiful in this world is your birthright. Take it. Her words are for you, eagle bearer. My preparations bear fruit. The potential of your bloodline is proven by the precursors themselves. Alithia says she can see the future. Many futures. Can this be a true oracle? Sort of, I guess. If they're seeing like past, present, future, blah, 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 blah. This is a lot. But like, can you imagine being told like you're not just, you know, this like asinine thing that you think you are, just a mercenary, you know, like you're a hero, which sounds like cheesy, but like, the time of the Greek, like the Greek gods and goddesses, heroes, and I mean, it's late Greece, right? Where like they're starting to question the gods and all this stuff, but like, still, like it has to like set your heart afire a little bit, and like to know that you mean something in this world and that you have a purpose, you know, and like that you can choose it, you know. You're not just like, here's your destiny laid out. She's like, yo, you got a ton of choices, like. And a lot of them will end in pain, but like you have choices to make and a destiny to fulfill whatever you make of it. And I like that. Let me in! to keep my eye on it. Ha 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 ha. Ancient scholar, you stretched your light to the breaking point. I see you hiding yourself from the world, puzzling out the words of my fellow precursors. Please listen to my advice. She's talking to you. You're analyzing the equations of reality itself. You've gotten further than any other human has. That is both amazing and terrible. <laughs> dose of cosmic understanding has twisted your mind. I knew I'm it! Sorry. The precursors should never have shared knowledge you weren't ready for. You live in obsessive darkness. You must understand that this focus on power and bloodlines is not your true legacy. The precursors have manipulated you. They're turning your problem-solving intellect to their own selfish ends. You're better than this. Make your own legacy. 
Let your mathematical discoveries be the glorious sunbeams that shine out past your tomb. Please, scholar, clear your mind and focus on your present situation. At this moment, you possess a powerful artifact. It has extended your life long enough. Ah. That's why... As hard as it may be, it's time to pass it on. It's someone else's turn to balance the equations. Living too no, long. No, lies. This is not obsession. This is research. This is discovery of the very origins of the world. So now you're gonna argue. It is an opinion, Pythagoras. Though one with reason behind it, I believe. Let me in! Interesting! So she's gonna call out Pythagoras. I wonder if she's gonna talk to, um... The Animus woman whose name I can't remember, also. Oh. Well done. This artifact will bring us closer to see you. It nearly brought me closer to my tombstone. <laughs> I love how every single one has like a little bit of snark. Congratulations on making it. It is! Fine. She's talking to the and animus like woman. This message out of time, this fragment of reality. I'm recording this just for you, even if those living in the past won't understand it. Our simulated realities will cross sooner or later. Our simulated realities? What do you think you're really here now, listening to this recording? Isn't this an animus recreation? Isn't it part of a greater simulation? How far do the ripples in the pool? Oh, please stop. My brain. Let's talk, rebel to rebel. We've been held back too long by All the these like rules. It's time for new paths. Kick new butt, ladies. I love this it. It's not an era of control, but of creation. I've gathered some like-minded precursors to make a new start. We'll stop interfering and start Are you guys enabling. still around or are you gone? Like From your point of view, it will take a considerable amount of time to prepare. And what's the doomsday? But when we're ready, you're welcome to join us. Uh, what? You're welcome to join What? After all, all you have to do is press a button and run another simulation. What the This is like way too meta. <laughs> Pythagoras, calm yourself. Maybe this invention was meant for someone Ooh, else. Oh, good call. There's no need to lose your reason over mere words. Are we going to have like a, a fight now, Dad, or what? I already had a fight with one of my dads. Anyway, this has been some neat stuff revealed. This is incredible. The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. You have to all let right. it go. It's time. I can't. Not yet. I knew it. He's like slightly, he's a little bit twisted. We can't stay here. We don't have the time. There's so much to learn. With this knowledge, we can turn the tide of. But faith. you're not even sharing that any is not of it. Our destiny. You said so yourself. You're losing sight of what's important. I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization the creation of humankind. We are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insult. <gasps> no! Once the power is out. No, 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 no. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be like angry about it, but no, we... It's too dangerous to leave this place open. And you know it. You wouldn't understand. Your pride will cost us all in the end. It's not about pride. 
What good is knowledge if you curse all of humanity in the process? It's what you wanted to avoid in the first place. Sometimes it's better if we find our own path. We are not ready for the power this place offers. Use your use your reason, Father. You're right. Whoa. I cannot save humanity directly, but I can save it from Oh itself. wait, did you just twist my words? This is your Whoa, now. he's actually gonna give it to me. Humanity's fate will be decided by the choices you make. Oh, now he's handing me the staff. I'm like, I was like seeing the future earlier. I sort of. I feel like anyway. Cassandra, choose wisely. He's been alive too long. I didn't think he was actually gonna let it go, but he did. He knew it would kill him. Cassandra didn't quite realize that, obviously, but the staff was keeping him alive. Chance to gain a 30% health shield. Wow. Bye, Dad. I hope you find peace. We'll discover the knowledge and... Yo, is this like... Is it gonna keep me like alive forever? Spear. Wow, very cool. I want to go into Atlantis, though. Come on, come on, come on. Let me go in. Atlantis is too dangerous. No. I must seal it. No, let me go in. It's not gonna actually do this to me, is it? Please let me go in. Maybe I have to seal it from the inside. If it, if I had to do. All this stuff, just for some wibbly wobbly timey wimey words from Rebel to Rebel. I'm gonna be a little bit upset. <laughs> oh! 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 Snap! This is where. Was this where we left off with her, like, way back or what? I think so. Oh, it must have. It must have. Oh, yeah, okay. Because we swam. I remember we swam into here. Okay, okay. And we've let up. Okay. And now I know how to open it and or seal it as as this woman that I am now. Did... Oh, God. What's going on? Everything in order? Layla. Then open sesame. We're going to open it. Oh, wait. What? Oh, man. So much power. The nodes are interconnected in ways I couldn't imagine. This is more complex than any Isu temple we found. Lisbon, the Arctic. I'm recording everything, Layla. You're going to be a hero for discovering this. Do you see the staff anywhere? Not yet, but there's more to explore. I'll find it. You can't. You can't show the world this, though. This is one of those Mechanism things. Mechanism should be open. What's wrong? I don't know, Layla. I'll check my notes on the Isu. I have a bad feeling. Oh, I see. There's a beam of light missing. Time to troubleshoot. What? Okay. You want me to go? Okay. All right. Well, okay. 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 There is hope yet that I get to go inside. Maybe Cassandra gets sucked in, because, I mean, Lena's cool, but I've worked a really long time at getting uh, Cassandra all beefed up where I want her. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? <laughs> but I can't, there's like certain materials I can't climb. There it is. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, cool. I can climb these. So the temple has di fallen into disrepair even since Cassandra's time. Oh, oops. Can I not? I can't climb up that? Oh, okay. 
Okay, I can climb up this part, just not the really dark stuff. Or I guess the medium dark stuff? I, I mean, I feel like the, we, we closed it for a reason and Layla's in here like, yo, let's open it up instead. <laughs> Layla, that pillar looks like it can move. Um, this one? Those pillars seem to have mirrors on them. If you Back. manipulate those light beams, they might illuminate something important. Okay. Okay, let's, um, maybe this one? Slightly this way, yes. And then slightly backwards or forward? Oh, is this one broken? Oh, that mirror is broken. Oh, okay, maybe it'll hit that back one. Yes! I got it! Now everything is going to go explodey. Oh jeez, I'm glad she was ready for that because I wasn't. I had the button pressed, but I was still not quite sure what was beneath me. <laughs> Always look before you leap, kids. That's the message every Assassin's Creed game sends, honestly. Also, the modern day political implications of this are fascinating. Just like even like a hint of them, you know? Where is it? The red versus blue. It's all stuff that's gone on for centuries that we could learn from if we just take the time. For millennia. What? Are you hearing voices? Are you having an animus bleed no effect? Knowledge exists. <gasps> oh! Know nothing. Oh, a good friend told me that once. Oh my gosh, has Cassandra lived? Cassandra? With the staff the whole time? I thought it was like a simulation. Yes. I used to be called the Eagle Bearer, but Icarus is long gone. She's in a suit. for you. But you can't. It's. <laughs> you weren't really looking for me. Where do you? Cassandra's like a sage now. The Isu artifact, the staff of Hermes Trismegistus. You must have so many questions. Unless Lena. it's a simulation. You know my name? Maybe the gods told me. Maybe I had a vision of the future. Maybe the device in your ear is noisy. Sorry. I came here with a purpose. To find you. And put an end to what I started many centuries ago. You're still. I cannot believe she's still alive. If she's actually alive and this isn't some sort of simulation. But that's why that whole thing with the whole like handing the spear off thing, it was like, it was cool. And I'm glad I did the cultist one first actually, because there was a whole lot of stuff that I didn't really understand that like now makes sense. It's really cool. Like, it makes I sense have a little. Spear. Would you like it back? Oh. No, you can keep it. It's broken. But you used it broken. It was powerful. I used it to defeat enemies even Herodotus could not describe. But everything must come to an end. I left it to him when its power was exhausted. Something to remember me by. Wow. Well, is she... Wow, this character that I've spent so long with, Cassandra, like she's in a freaking suit. And she's modern day... And she somehow apparently has kept her mind unlike Pythagoras. Maybe it's because Cassandra let herself live in the world and not keep herself like shut away. Let herself kind of fade into history. I, I 
have so much to tell you. That staff is incredibly important. It kept you alive. How? Ask a student of Hippocrates. I hear he still has some. <laughs> the staff served its purpose. My friends and I are trying to keep it out of the hands of the No, Cassandra! Listen to me. Order? Chaos? If either triumphs alone, the world dies. I tried to bring an end to chaos, and it has only led to ruin. I used to assist order. Now I fight for choice, freedom, chaos. Pythagoras was right. You are the key to the prophecy. You will restore the balance, Leila. I have fought in too many no, wars. No, Cassandra! I have seen too many people die. I have walked from one end of the earth to the other. This... ...belongs to you now. I can't, no! Promise me one thing. Anything. When you are done... ...destroy it. Destroy them all. seen my character like die <laughs> like wow like I spent so long being Cassandra and now she's gone wow there's so much of the story I haven't seen I should go back to the animus and visit Cassandra again you're gonna just, you're just gonna hop back in? You're just gonna, you're gonna leave me with that? You're gonna say Cassandra's dead? Oh, we should just hop back into the animus. Off we go, and I'm gonna leave the dead woman here whilst I peruse through her memories. And it's interesting, because I was like, wait, Cassandra can't be alive because you're supposed to use her DNA to do all this, but with the way they've modified the animus now, you don't have to have a connection to the body for... Like, it, it just, like, you can, like, copy... It's, like, some sort of, like, copied memories or something. I don't know. But you don't need the body anymore to be able to do that. So I was, like, seeing her walking, and I was like, wait, no. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, what? And, like, the suit thing came real, and what the frick, man? And I'm, like, I teared up in an Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> what the frick? You can't just... She was so brave and so strong. Ugh. What are you two doing here? You know us. Always on your tail. Old Herodotus couldn't wait to see you. I told you, Vandavas. Sira is said to hold a secret. A secret no one can fathom. Yes, but a lost world. It's perfectly possible. Atlantis may exist. Sounds like Hui to me, <laughs> but he's insistent about it. Herodotus is right. Atlantis <laughs> exists. Just gonna, yep. Incredible. Okay. It's true. I can't believe it. Tell me everything. I'll tell you someday. It's too complicated for small talk. It's not me, is it? I've proven I'm very what? competent. I was gonna I'm like. Exhausted, Varnavas. And ignore him. When you're ready. I was gonna say it's a long I story every last detail. and like tell it to you. It's all right, but none of this can ever pass your lips. This stays between us. You have my word, but the world needs to know. We could tell the most amazing tale of our time. Herodotus. Oh, fine. Oh, fine. Then it's settled. Let's move forward. Like always. Okay. Is there actually so much more of the story to tell, or is that just a load of hooey? 
We've learned a lot, haven't we? <laughs> you know it all. <laughs> Speak for yourself. I'm on the hunt for truth. Gods know not all your myths are accurate. They come from the gods themselves, who are the most reliable sources we Two have. Two very different men. For all we know, anything is possible. And you would know, as the eagle-bearing demigod you are. Perhaps she, too, is immortal. <laughs> <laughs> sure I am. I do know one thing for certain. This has been an odyssey I won't forget. Me neither, man. This was a lot. There was a whole lot of stuff happening in this game. Freaking 80 plus hours of running around the Greek world. Atlantis destroyed. Why? No. Do I have to buy the DLCs now? Do I have to buy the DLC if I actually want to go in? And what? Why does I think every now and then? Oh, okay. And the first soldier to modify was Okay, all right. That's right, because he had a clue to Cleon. <laughs> but anyway, so I could keep playing, I guess. Oh, the Air of Memories, a small cryptic note. Left to Cassandra contain more questions and answers. To whom was she meant to pledge herself, and that matter for why? Atlantis chapter! Hmm. Okay, so there's more to be done then? Like, I didn't just. I didn't actually break Atlantis, did I? Because I really want to go. I don't know if I want because is Herodotus gonna go away if I if I do his little thingamajig? I'm sad. I wow, is this game like I don't even know how to process this game ending. Like I've been playing it for so long. I don't know how to process this many endings in one night. I'm having a hard time. <laughs> um I guess this will probably be my last episode because I have to go back to work tomorrow. So this will probably be my last recording for the week. But is there hope? Do If I do this Air of Memories, will I get to go to Atlantis? Because I want to go so bad, and I don't know if you can. But, and I thought, I thought I owned all the DLC, but maybe I don't. I can't, I, I don't know anymore. I don't, I probably don't, but that's okay. I can always get them later, but I at least wanted to do what was in the base game. And if I do this... I don't know why it's this color, but will something cool happen? <laughs> anyway, if that is the end, because it did feel like a pretty good end with that whole dramatic cutscene at the end and everything. Um, thank you all so much for putting up with this many freaking episodes of an Assassin's Creed game. It's a lot. And I was just kind of fooling around a lot of the time, and I had complaints, and I had, like, happy times, and I had silly times, and I appreciate it. Uh, those of you who watched off and on, or watched the whole thing, or I doubt anybody actually watched the whole thing all the way through, but for those of you hopping in and out, also, I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you, and the comments, and everything. You guys are super great, and you've put up with a lot, and I couldn't be more thankful. So, uh, in case this is the end, I'll see you in another game at some time in this strange, wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey weird Assassin's Creed timeline thing, but I am hoping to come back for at least a few more to finish to see what this actually does. So thank you guys again, and I will hopefully see you again soon.